Well, I said, if I were, if I were black, they'd have killed me a long time ago. And if I were black and saying the things I say, I, I wouldn't be alive. Bullshit. No, you're not going to say I'm sorry there's racism. No, I do not have to ask you nicely. I consider this exercise an injection of the live virus of racism. I watched my students become what I told them they were. I watched little, wonderful, brown-eyed white people become vicious, ugly, nasty, discriminating, domineering people in the space of 15 minutes. I watched brilliant, little, blue-eyed, white Christian children become timid and frightened and angry and unable to learn in the space of 15 minutes. If you do that with a whole group of people for a lifetime, you change them psychologically. You convince those who are analogous to the brown-eyed people that they are superior, that they are perfect, that they have the right to rule. Did you learn anything this morning? I think I learned from the experience of feeling like I was in a glass cage and I was powerless. I realized this morning that there are very few times in my life that I've ever been discriminated against, very few. And you convince those who take the place of the blue-eyed students, that they are less than. How did they feel yesterday? Down like a dog on a leash. If you do that for a lifetime, what do you suppose that does to them? You find out that there are people of color who refuse to live down to our expectations of them. I am now watching, at the national level, that exercise that I did based on eye color being reenacted in the government of the United States of America. I've done this with people of all ages for the last 50 years. Now think about that. Next year it will be the 50th anniversary of the killing of Martin Luther King Jr. and the beginning of the blue eyed brown eyed exercise. When are we going to learn? When are we going to put a stop to this? White people's number one freedom in the United States of America is the freedom to be totally ignorant about those who are other than white. We live in the land of the free and the home of the brave. White people are the free and people of color have to be brave. I want this situation to change. I want it to be such that no black person has to have courage to get up in the morning any more than I, as a white person, have to have courage to get up in the morning. This is the most important book you or I or anybody else will ever read. I'm an educator. Every educator should refuse to perpetuate the myth of white superiority. There's only one race. It's the human race. Hey, NBC News viewers, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.